All right, let's uh, update uh, level one students on uh, on what's going on so that you're aware of what's happening. By now, uh, some of you will have already have received notices if you have uh, purchased the ethics video notes either through Gumroad or Cells that you have a new file to download. It is a podcast, audio only, of all the code and standards. So the uh, one reading where it goes through every standard, standard 1A, 1B, 1C, you can see down the side here, I've got them all. They're all now audio only. So you can download them right to your iPhone, right to your iPod, your iPad, whatever device you're using, uh, without incurring streaming charges now. So here you go, you just download them all. It's in a zip file. The total size of the zip file is only 480 meg, and that's it. You have them now. Uh, so I thought that that made a lot of sense to do them. Here's why. Um, because I can close my eyes and listen to these videos. I don't actually have to see the words on the screen. I can listen to them. For some of the other videos where I solve problems or I'm pointing to things, it doesn't lend itself well to just downloading the audio. Uh, but I put down at the bottom here uh, more with a question mark. If you want me to do more for different sections, I will. Uh, but let's take something like, um, uh, well, portfolio management, for example. There's a lot of charts and there's a lot of graphs that you have to draw. You have to draw the capital allocation line. You have to draw the efficient frontier. That gets lost unless you have the video notes in front of you as you're listening to the podcast. If you want me to do it, I will. But don't don't write back to me and say, could you redo some of these videos? Because in them you say, well, if you look over here and you look over there, well, yeah, that's when you have the screen in front of you, that's that's basically what I've done because I didn't plan ahead and think about the podcasting business uh, of being able to provide you with those. Uh, but if you want me to do more, I will. It doesn't take me long to do these. It's it's a little tedious to put them all in order, but it doesn't. It's it's not hard work. It's not like I have to redo anything. I just have to do a lot of administrative stuff, but I can do it. Anyways, there you go. There's the ethics podcast. So all you have to do is uh, click on the link uh, for your video notes, and you could just download those. Um, next topic I want to talk about: the new file structure for the uh, for the video notes um, in in updating FRA with questions. Uh, this became a real, uh, just a real pain in the ass on my side, and I can only imagine a real pain in the ass on your side uh, to get updates all the time of download this, download that, download this. And, and I could think that, well, if I were on the receiving end of that, I would think, oh, come on, man, like get it straight or, or leave me alone. Uh, so I've changed it. Uh, there'll only be three files. Uh, so FRA is done. Here's what you'll find. You'll find the notes, just the straight old notes. And what I've done is I put a, in front of the notes, is I put a title page, a table of contents, which has every reading listed. And if you click on the link, it'll bring you right to those notes. Click on this link for cash flows. It'll bring you right to the beginning of cash flow. So I've done that uh, for FRA in the notes. Then the review notes are separate. I used to have them attached right to the notes, but I put them as a separate, separate file altogether. And then the question PDFs are separate. So there's three files. There's the main notes file, there's the review PDFs, and finally the question PDF. So if I keep adding to questions as time goes on, that's the only thing that has to change. I've done this for FRA. I'm now gonna move on to quant and then fixed income. I will do the same structure in, uh, in quant and fixed income along with a title page. Now I can't get to every section today but as I get to them, uh, I will change them just into this, this kind of structure, so that if I update something in any one of them, you don't have to download the whole thing and try to figure out, well, what is this, what's that, what's new, what's not. Uh, uh, so I think that's a lot easier. Uh, number uh, three, I got number two here. Let's put a three in there. I'm moving on to quant. This week, I'm working on the quant questions. That'll uh, be two weeks before it's all completely done. But this Saturday coming up, uh, which I think is the last Saturday in February. The first four readings of Quant will be done. Somewhere around 150, 200 questions will be up on Saturday. The following Saturday, I'll simply upload, uh, uh, update the question PDF, so you only have to deal with that. Then I'll move on to fixed income. Um, four, this is the big point. You got 15 weeks left. You got 15 weeks left. Take off four weeks for review. That's 11 weeks to go. 
Many of you have already had a good start. That's great, but I want to light a fire under you. There's only 11 weeks, so if you've been going a little slow, you got to pick up the pace. If you've recently shown up uh, in the last couple of weeks, or if you're just showing up now, uh, 11 weeks, four weeks of review, and 11 weeks, you got to do five readings a week. To put that in context, that's almost 300 pages of text you have to cover every week. Not just your eyes going over the words, but understanding everything that's written on them and being prepared to recall it and actually solving the problems and doing the exercises. Five readings a week, 281 pages. At this level, that's a brutal pace. So you're going to want to watch the videos at 1.5 times speed. Uh, in the videos, what I do is I talk a little slower, like this, to point things out. Sometimes I have those little pauses in there so that you can catch up to your, your thinking, can catch up to where I am. You don't need to listen to it that way. I do it that way so that it, it, it appeals to everyone. In other words, I'm not talking so fast that somebody can't understand what I'm saying. Everybody can. You just speed me up. Go to 1.5 times speed. That's the right, uh, I think that's the right speed to listen to me on. Uh, all of a sudden, one hour uh, is now being done in 40 minutes. Uh, so you're just, uh, uh, you've just saved yourself 33% uh, uh, of the time. Uh, so on 100 hours, you've just cut out 33 hours of, of listening right there. But you're going to want to listen to it at 1.5 times speed. If you got those notes in front of you, everything on the screen is written down. You don't have to keep pressing pause and making notes, pause and making notes. They're right there. You stare at your, your page. It's going at 1.5. You can see what's going on. Maybe you want to stop, make an extra note there, make an extra note there, circle this and connect that. I don't know. Whatever, however your mind sees the information, off you go. But you do not have the luxury of time. You do not have the luxury of leaning back in a chair, putting your feet up and saying, I'm going to go through this at a nice slow pace. You don't have that now. you got to pick it up. So it's a race. This is not a marathon anymore where you got to pace yourself. This is a race. Uh, 11 weeks to go. Finally, point number five. I am upgrading some of the videos in some of the playlists. Now, when I say I'm upgrading them, I'm not adding new content or new information. I'm just upgrading them for a mobile world and I'm fixing some little problems that bothered me in the videos where maybe there was a printing error and it was sitting there and it was bothering me and okay, it's time to fix this. Uh, so you might have noticed that I fixed some videos in macro. I fixed some videos in FRA. Uh, nothing new. There's nothing new. So you don't have to go back and watch them and say, what did I miss? There's nothing new. I'm only fixing little tiny things I wasn't happy with. Maybe I was speaking about a, a ratio and I'm saying, so if you look at the numerator, and I actually meant to say the denominator, but, you know, brain fart, out came numerator, right? So I go back and I re-edit to say denominator. That's all I'm doing, okay? So I'm moving on to quant next, and I've identified about, probably out of the 80 or 90 videos, there's about 15 that I'm going to redo, because some of them I made calculator mistakes on, where, you know, it should have been 87 uh, point 0.9, but I wrote 89.7. You know, I, I, I did misplaced or, or, or um, you know, 89.7, and I wrote 87.9. I just switched the two numbers around. And then what I do is I put an annotation on the screen, which blocked this out, and then wrote in 89.7. But if you're using a mobile device, annotations don't work on a mobile device. They don't show up. So you keep seeing the same mistake. You don't see the correction. A year ago, I would have said, who cares? Because 93% of all my viewers were viewing it on a PC. Only 7% were mobile. Today, I checked my stats today, 71% are viewing it on a PC. 29% are mobile. So there's 30 out of 100 that are seeing the mistake. That's just too much. So when you, uh, when you notice that some uh, uh, videos are being changed, relax. It's uh, You're not missing anything. You're not missing anything. I'm only correcting little things I don't like. I'm only maybe taking out, maybe I'll take out five, six sentences in there that I thought, ah, what's the point of saying all that extra stuff? It, it, it's only going to confuse. I've already made the point. Once I listen to them again, I have I, I, I can hear them, you know, with, with fresh ears and I can say, well, I can say that a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. You don't have to go back and watch them all. You don't have to do any of that stuff, okay? 
So don't worry about what's going on here. Upgrading the videos, that's that's just me fixing little errors. So there we go. There's our file, uh, or not our file, but there's uh, my update for the week. Big one right here. You got to get going. And uh, download your zip file for ethics. If you want me to do more, uh, let me know in the comment section right below this. And uh, uh, if you if somebody says equity and you like it, click on the like button beside the equity and I'll wait a week and I'll see which uh, section gets the most votes and I'll do another section.